heavy people welcome so in today's video I'm gonna do a fall haul I am ready for fall I bought some beauty products some candles beauty product includes like hair skin all things some candles for the home I ain't gonna lie they're all bougie and some clothes most of them are capsule clothes for me filling in my wardrobe capsule more um, I'll tell you more about that if you want me to but let's start with hair because that's what most of you care about. I have one hair thing and it was actually PR. It came from Ajwa Beauty and many of you have asked me about it. So um, for anyone who doesn't watch my vlogs, which is a lot of you, then Ajwa Beauty sent me the entire blue tansy collection and they sent me full size products. So I have been trying them out. Um, I think this Saturday I'll be doing kind of like a, a live trial with the members of the channel. So if you are not a member, make sure you join. If you don't want to join, at least subscribe to the channel. That would be great. I, it really helped me out. And um, also consider joining Patreon. Link to that in the description box. But let's go through the collection. So first we have the serum, which I was really excited to see in the collection. You guys know I love a good silicone serum. And often you ask me for a non-silicone based serum. So this is the Blue Tansy Treatment Serum. I've been trying it out. I don't know if you could tell. I've been using it. Uh, came in this box. Really cute. I love the packaging, by the way, of all of these products. This is the Blue Tansy Reparative Mask. Like I said, I've been using these products. I'm not going to give you a review of them in this video. Then we have the Leave-In Conditioning Styler. I will say I do find the scent of these products pleasant, but very, very different than the Bow Mint. Bow Mint had a mint scent. This is the Reparative Conditioner. Um, so this collection seems to be more focused on strengthening the hair. Um, I don't know if that's gonna focus. And then one thing that I thought was a great addition to the collection is the Clarifying Shampoo. I'll let you guys know my real thoughts, but yeah, I, I was very, very happy to receive the entire collection um, full size. It was unexpected. And then I went to Ulta, which is funny because first I went to Target because I don't know if you guys know, but Ulta is in Target now. And so I went to Marvel at it all and they actually had a few black owned brands as part of their collection, uh, but they didn't have what I needed. So first up. I showed you guys in my last empties that I ran out of cleanser uh, and I didn't have another like more cleansing cleanser. So I picked up an old favorite. This is the La Roche-Posay Tellarian Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. I have waxed lyrical about this before. This is one that a previous dermatologist recommended and um, there are only two in my dermatologist recommended rotation and this is one of them. I really, really like this one. So I just use this. I'll be using it tonight when I um, wash off this makeup, but I typically use it if I'm not wearing makeup in the morning after I exercise. That is when I need something more cleansing, usually to get like sweat off, not necessarily for everyday life or if I'm wearing heavy makeup. And then I re-upped on my Anastasia Clear brow, brow Gel. I really wanted a brow gel from a black owned brand, but they didn't have any in that Ulta and I wasn't going anywhere else. And I know I like this. And then one lip color i was looking for a good berry shade and i was looking at all the black owned brands in ulta because that's just how i shop i want all my makeup to be from black owned brands if possible and i saw this from juvia's place and i was like oh well i don't need to search anymore i was gonna go to sephora and look at fashion fair and stuff which i probably still will because that's how i roll um, fashion fair is a black owned brand but i mean look at this packaging is it not beautiful and just different, right? Like I have a bunch of lipsticks right there and they all have the black packaging. So this was fun. I'll know what color it is right away. Um, but I do have a video that I'm going to do sharing all the beauty products I'll be using um, this fall. So every lip color in my um, arena arsenal, I'll put in that video. But this is definitely one of them. I'll do a swatch for you right now. I don't even want to mess it up. Look at that. Ugh. I was like, yes, this is what I wanted. This is what I was looking for. Thank you. <laughs> and so more on this later. 
<laughs> this is my favorite lip color season where I just wear vampy lips. It's everything. And then next up we have um, bougie candles. I cannot even like front. I just go for bougie candles. I, I, I got no explanations. Um, they last a long time. I don't need this many. This is probably gonna last me for winter. So in winter, when I shop for winter, I probably won't be buying any candles. So these candles are from Restoration Hardware. I said bougie candles, okay? <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a, a break here because this came from the Restoration Hardware outlet. They had like a bunch of them. My sister and I love to go there. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know, um, they have an outlet. There aren't a bunch of outlets all over the States. Like this is one of the few. Um, and so the candles are not full price. They're typically 60 bucks and then at the outlet they're 30. So still a lot. I'm not, y'all, I'm not, I said it's a bougie candle. You can only get the candles at the store. You can get them online, but if you're looking for them, a candle, like a bougie candle, if you're in Restoration Hardware, I really love these candles. I love the packaging. Look at this. Look at this. Is it not gorgeous? Now, you could probably find a candle with this like holder. I like anthropology. You hear that? <laughs> and this one just smells, oh. It's called Moroccan Cedar. I've never smelled a candle like this before. It's got the cedar, but there's a spice there. It's not too heavy on cedar, like a lot of cheaper candles. When you think cedar, it's like in your face, but this is so bougie. <laughs> This is definitely gonna be the first candle I burn for this season. Also, these boxes are so serious. I'm going to definitely keep these boxes and do something with them. You know what? I'm gonna keep these for Christmas gift wrapping. And then the other one, like I said, I just love the scent of it. It's not for the holidays. It's just a beautiful scent. The second candle, oh my God, I can, oh, I can smell it from here. It smells so delicious. And this is definitely one. I would smell all year long. Same kind of packaging, just silver. Oh my goodness, that just is heavenly. It's vanilla, bergamot, like, mmm. So good. Ugh. If you can at least get to a restoration hardware and smell these, do that because it's gonna change you. <laughs> You're gonna come to the bougie candle side, but don't do it because then you'll be to the can bougie candle side. And then I got a couple of candles from Anthropology, which is where I usually go for candles. Just a few small ones for the season. Typically I just get one because these last forever. But I just decided to get two small ones instead because I really liked the scents of these. Um, this one I think is the Oud one, yes. Black Oak Oud. It's smoky, it smells like a man, but not in a cloying way. Oh, this is so good. Look, my candle rotation is gonna be so sick this fall. So good. <laughs> and then this one is definitely more like, okay, traditional fall, kind of. Um, but this one is beautiful as well. Balsam and cedar wood. So definitely more woodsy, right? I don't do cedar a lot. This is not as elegant as the RH one, but it's still good. It's more holiday, more like heading into Christmas. So I will burn this when I get closer to winter. And that's all of my candles. I mean, overall, they're just beautiful. I don't know if, can you guys see these? Yes. Next up and last but not least are clothes. And Okay, so we'll start with Zara because I'm wearing this Zara top. I actually have a pair of black linen pants and I wanted to make them a set. And so I bought this top to go with it. Uh, and it's just a nice set to wear as the weather transitions. I can dress it up, I can dress it down, I can wear it with sneakers, loafers, sandals, whatever. So I thought this was a cute top. And then also from Zara, I saw this and I was like, yes. So this is a bodysuit and I just love the print. Um, you can close it so that, you know, you have, you're pretty covered. There are two closed options and you still have like the ruffle detail. I love the print. It's long sleeve. This is a bodysuit, so it'll go nicely into whatever pants you're wearing or a skirt. 
And so you can wear it going out. If I button it up more, I can wear it for work and events and things. But I'm, I got it mostly for going out, if I'm going on a date or something. This is really cute. I could see it with a pair of denim and some heels, or I could see it with uh, like some, some slacks of some sort, some kind of black slack with my loafers or my heels. Either way, I was like, yes ma'am, I'm a sucker for a print. And then I told you guys I have several capsule wardrobe pieces. So in my wardrobe, I keep several blouses to wear year round. They're high quality, so they're usually like silk or a high quality blend of something, or it could be all cotton for some of my button downs. But they're pieces that are generally more expensive, but I wear over and over again all year and for years. I just care for them. And one of the brands I have, I love to go to for that is Diane Von Furstenberg. And my top, which you guys have seen several times, my red and pink top, just got a rip in it that cannot be repaired. And so I went on the DVF website and found this top, which is a replacement. And I just, like I said, I love a good print. And I just thought this print was really great for fall, winter. I'll probably get away with this in spring as well. Really, I don't really care. I, like, I wear it all year long, mainly because these aren't heavy fabrics generally. Um, this does come with an inner shirt, so like a black camisole that I can take out or keep in. It's buttoned in, so that's nice. But I just really love the way Diane von Furstenberg does prints. And so this is me replacing a DVF shirt with a new DVS blouse that I could wear year round. And then I needed another top, um, another blouse. And another brand I like for blouses is Reese. The quality of their clothing is just really nice. It's a UK based brand. Um, and I just wanted something that was very like office, right? But it still has like a very feminine touch to it. And so I got this top. It has a nice stripe to it, not too thick, not too thin. It has a ruffle up here on the collar, which gives it a bit of femininity, but it still has that hard edge with the um, stripes, but it's like a light blue color, right? And this is why I would wear year round, just like the DVF top, pencil skirt with jeans, with slacks, whatever. This is just another workhorse top. And I needed another one because um, I saw that another one of my tops is about to go. And so I just replaced it. I mean, I really don't buy these tops very often, maybe one a year, one or two a year. And so these are my two, I haven't bought any this year um, in this vein, like these are expensive. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Um, but these are the two I bought. I don't know that I'll need another one next year. These are, like I said, not ones I buy all the time. So let's move on to like two things that aren't for my capsule, right? And then we'll go back to it. So I walked into Target the other week <laughs> and they had, Target always does these designer collabs and I tend to not fall for them. But this time there were some pieces that I was like, oh, I need these. And so this sweater, I'm actually not sure that I'm gonna keep. I was looking for a nice statement sweater and this is a statement, right? I mean, I could see myself wearing this right now, um, wearing it later in the year. It's a nice, thick weight. Um, this is their Rachel Comey collab. Rachel Comey is a well-known designer. And I just love the colors, right? It's like a wannabe leopard print, but not quite. And I'm a sucker for a leopard print. I have these leopard print loafers that I love. I've had for many years. Um, I'm a loafer chick, by the way. <laughs> And I can just see myself wearing this as it gets cooler with some jeans and loafers, like I said, um, with boots. Um, there's just so many ways I would wear this. But I'm, I'm not sure I'm gonna keep it. You guys let me know your thoughts. Should I keep this? And then another purchase that I'm not sure I'm gonna keep, but I really like it, it's just my height. <laughs> it doesn't work. And I'm just attached. This beautiful jewel tone satin t-shirt dress. The t-shirt dress trend it's difficult for me as a curvy girl, but who is also petite. I'm not tall, guys. It just looks like it. The rest of my family is tall. I got the short end of the stick. And I just love the tone here. This is Banana Republic Factory, I think. Um, Banana Republic sells one that's shorter for significantly more money. And so I'm conflicted, but I love this. Like I love the jewel tone. 
I love that it's a t-shirt dress. Like, <sighs> let me know what you guys think. Is it too long? Am I tripping? But my next group of things is definitely filling a gap in my capsule. I have no cardigans, no long cardigans, none at all. And so I bought three and three neutral colors. So I got a black cardigan. This one is shorter than the other one. I didn't want them to be too long because like I said, you guys, I'm not tall. <laughs> you know, I think I am, but I'm not really. Um, in my mind, I am. It's okay though, I don't have to be tall. I really liked the weight of this. This is cotton. And so it's perfect for this time of year, which is when I would want to wear these. Um, and then the other one's probably like late spring. Instead of blazers, which I'll pull out more in the winter. Um, and just to have an alternative to a blazer, the fabric is so good. And this is just one that's more sleeker and more typical, I think, in a wardrobe. Uh, and then I went ahead and got a, a cardigan in an oat color because like I said, this is the basics of my capsule wardrobe. I also really like the buttons in this. And again, this is cotton and it's ribbed this time. So it's, it's different than the other one. I didn't want to just get the same cardigan in an oat color, um, but I did get it in oat and the buttons, like I said, are fun. They're not fun. They're just, I like the buttons in this. It's, it, you know, that's that detail that I think is important when you're buying something that's your capital that's gonna last a really long time for you, the details matter. So I just thought this was really sleek and cute. This one's definitely long on me. Let me see if I can back up. Um, it comes down to the knee, like a little below the knee, but I'm not a tall person. So that is what it is, but it definitely perfectly fits into what I'm going for and I'm already getting warmer. So it's, <laughs> it's what I want it to be in my wardrobe. And then I was actually looking for a ribbed cardigan, one that had color. I was actually looking for a red one. I hadn't found one yet. Um, I was in Zara and I saw one, but it just, it didn't have the quality I wanted. And I like, like I said, try to go more sustainably sourced with this. But I was in Target, same trip as this sweater. And I saw this and I was like, oh, okay. Well then, this knocks all of the boxes. And again, it's a responsible style. So it is more sustainably sourced and it's rib and it's cable knit. And I love this orangish color. It's cheaper than anything else I was looking at. And just the detail, like I said, there's a lot of cute detail here that I really, really like. And it's long, again, on me. This is longer than the others. It comes um, right above the knee, so you may be able to see it if I back up. Um, yeah. And it's just really warm. This is definitely one I can wear in winter. And I just, I, it hit all the boxes, weirdly, at Target. So when this haul comes up, I think these pieces will still be there. If you want them, run, don't walk to the website. Because the collab collections from Target go really fast, especially the cute pieces. And then the last Target piece, which also surprised me because it's a capsule piece, is this coat. I was looking for a coat with this print and they're popular always, like this is a traditional style, but they're generally more money than I wanted to spend on it right now. But at Target, this coat was $80. And coats like this generally run way over 100 if they're decent quality. And this is actually really good quality. Like, this surprised me. It's everything. I love the cut. And I was just, I was surprised. The buttons are good. Now, if I did anything to elevate it, I could get different buttons put on. For now, I'm, I'm okay with it. Um, but if I wanted to elevate it, I would put some different buttons on it. I would buy some buttons, probably some gold or silver buttons. That might happen in the future, but, but for now, this is everything. I was so surprised, I couldn't leave it. There was no freaking way. <laughs> and that's it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed this, let me know in the comments what's the favorite thing or things you saw. I'll link everything in the description box, but if I forget something, definitely ask me in the comments to put it in there and I will. 
Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I will say this is probably the bougiest haul I've done, but I typically don't do hauls, right? So I just don't show you guys what I buy. You just see it when I'm wearing it. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe before you go so we can see each other in the next one. Loving how you wind Bye. up for me. Tonight is all on me. My shop, the place for me. Yeah, yeah. She just want to highlight. Ooh, we, that body talk to me. I need a taste, baby. Taste, baby. Loving the way. Loving the way you move around.